Hello there, pathetically weak wimps. My name is Matt, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Soul Silver. And now I am the Almighty Red, the champion of the Kanto region. Uh, yeah, I found some hacks on the internet where you could play as um, Red and your rival Silver, uh, which is pretty cool hacks. But of course, the, uh, the controls don't seem to be a little bit glitched up. They're the same for both Red and um, Red and your rival. So it kind of you can't walk downwards, you either walk to your side when you walk downwards and you walk forwards when you're walking backwards, it's like doing the moonwalk, <laughs> so awesome. So yeah, uh, the reason I found these hacks and decided to show them off is because this episode is going to be uh, sort of an event episode and I had to get some um, cheat codes off the internet to do those because you guys requested them and uh, I found these and I thought they'd be pretty cool to show off. So let me just go change back into my uh, regular old outfit. And now I'm back to boring old and shoe. But uh, yeah, as I said before, this episode is going to be an event episode. I'm going to be doing three events, and there is a reason why I'm in Azalea Town. There's a reason why I'm here. Because two of the three events I'm going to be doing are actually in the Elex Forest, in pretty much the same place, which is kind of strange. But anyway, let's get started with the first event. The first event is the, um... Uh, well, basically, you need a Colored Pichu, which I do have. In fact, I will show you the Colored Pichu. I'll walk with the Colored Pichu. And I'm sure you ha if you have to. Uh, the color Pichu is actually Pikachu colored. Uh, I'll show you there. It's, it's I think it's shiny. Um, it's from the GameStop event a while ago, but I had to use a, a cheat code to get it, of course. It has Volt Tackle, which is pretty damn awesome. Because it's, it's just a really cool Pikachu, uh, Pichu evolutionary move. So there we can walk with the Pikachu colored Pichu. And what this does when you go into Alex Forest, it unlocks the... Um, the spiky eared Pichu event. Basically, you can run into a spiky eared Pichu. I thought it'd be pretty cool to just to show off. And you need to go to the shrine, which uh, I need a Pokemon with cut to get past, apparently, which is not a good thing. And also, repels might be uh, some help here, so I will teach a Pokemon cut. Um, I can't remember who might have cut, but we can see the shiny Pichu in battle, which is pretty cool. Of course, this Pichu is not legitimate, so I will get rid of it afterwards. It's just wanted to show you off the, show you guys the events, show off the events, because that's what you guys ask me to do. Um, do I have any repels though? I really hope I do because I cannot be bothered. Um, oh, there we go. I have seven max repels. That should do it. Um, do I want to teach anyone cut? If Pichu can learn cut, that will be useful. Else, um, I will have to pause and go get a Pokemon. That I do want to waste a move on and teach it cut. And uh, Pichu's unable to, but a Pokemon, another Pokemon in my team, uh, namely Arceus, which I will actually be showing off in just a little bit, can learn cut, so I'm going to teach Arceus, the god of all Pokemon. I'm going to teach it cut. Yeah, you know, just like you do. Teaching the god of all Pokemon the move cut as I hate him slave. Because I'm so amazingly brilliant. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and cut this tree with the god Pokemon. It's like the best, it's the best cut ever, to be quite honest. Uh, and let's head on over to the shrine. And here comes the spiky and Pichu. And they start playing with each other in not in the, any dirty ways, but uh, it's a Pichu. One of its ears is spiky. It's sort of a, um, I don't know what to call it. It's just this, it's a, story that's based off a of Pichu with spiky ears hidden in the air. It looks far as there's not much to it, I just thought I'd show off because it's pretty cool. And an old man comes along after the Pichu's playing with each other. You can really see the difference between the uh, shiny coloured Pikachu Pichu and the regular Pichu, but hey hey! You should not tamper with the shrine. People are said to disappear. Kids and Pokemon sometimes disappear around the shrine and basically the shrine is actually dedicated to Celebi and Celebi uh, ta teleports people through time. But we will be getting that, uh, getting to that in just a minute after this uh, event right now, because that is the other events I've got to do here. But it's believed that a Pokemon which wanders across time does that, which is Celebi, of course. It's truly a strange thing. And the Spikey Pichu is there. It's a really pretty cool Pichu. It's the only way you can get it, but well, well, this must be. Uh, this must be the Pichu that has lived in the forest for some time. When I saw it for the first time, it looked lonely. It is full of energy today. Because it's friends but here, or whatever. <laughs> uh, finally, I'll meet again after a long time. And the jumping about and dancing around. And um, 
So it joins your party. I, th I don't think it actually battles you. It just joins your party. As such, it just it not it just jumps in a Pokeball, I think, and becomes your Pokemon. Uh, but yeah, we got a spiky eared Pichu. And to be honest, I love I love this little Pikachu. Um, so I think I might say Pikachu, but Pichu is like the cutest thing ever, and the spiky eared one is just all much better. I wish I would actually get one of these one of these in real life in my actual legitimate game, uh, but unfortunately, it's not feasible due to the event. Actually, uh, the event getting the shiny Pichu ending quite a while ago, so it won't start again. So let's have a look at my spiky eared Pichu. It's got the zap plate and. The awesome and cute spiky ears up there, I found it so cute. It has Volt, Tackle, which is amazing. Helping can Swagger and Pain Split, which is kind of strange move to a Pichu. But, uh, it's twice the spiky of Pichu. Oh, look at it! It's the ears are spiky, that's just awesome. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I did this one first. It's put me in a good mood. It's a brilliant one. Um, love this event. Look, just look at those cute little ears. It's spiky, I, do, I love that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the... Um, the spaggy Pichu and the um, specially coloured shiny Pichu in the computer. I'm going to take out a special Pokemon known as Celebi, which I will be doing the Celebi event uh, right now, just after I put these two Pokemon in the computer. So the Celebi event is actually something not just based around Celebi. It's based around a couple of things and uh, it's, it's really interesting. It, you actually learn things from it, which is... I mean, you learn things about Pokemon that you wouldn't otherwise and it, it's created a lot of um, sort of not necessarily fan fiction, but fan ideas and fan theories, which is really, really cool. It's a really good thing to have uh, in a um, game. So here we go. There's Shiny Celebi, which uh, I can't remember what event this was from. Uh, but it was from an event a while ago, which you got. And when you go into the Ilex Forest, an event will start, which you are about to see. So I will actually put out my Shiny Celebi first, just because I wanted to show it. It's actually his name in Japanese. I believe the only way to get it was in Japan. It might, it might have actually been uh, released to America and some places and some other places in the world. But apparently mine's the Japanese one, but oh well. It's got a weird, cool, like, blue-looking blue looking colour. I don't know if I like that or not, but um, it's pretty awesome. Either way, uh, I don't know if I like... I mean, I don't know whether I feel like that one compared to the original. It's a pinky blue colour. I, I don't know. It's just really weird. It looks like it's got some filter over it. I don't know. I just thought I'd point that out. And there we go, the second most amazing cut ever, because the first one obviously more amazing. And Celebi starts jumping around, what could be going on? And Lyra's coming with her Marrow. And Marrow seems to be just running into the trees like the clever Marrow is, but... Hi, and she, have you heard of the legend of the shrine? They say that people disappear when they tamper with it, because uh, Celebi just like, what are you doing with my shrine? And teleports you away, and... Wait a minute, what's going on? What, what was that? And Celebi flies into the sky, starts glowing and freaking out, and the world starts spinning around, and what, what's going on? And the screen goes white, and what's happening? Wait a second, where are we? And we're actually on uh, the route next to Viridian City, I've completely forgotten what route is called. But it's, uh, uh yeah, where, where are we? It's in the past, apparently, but I probably shouldn't give that away. And Lyra runs extremely fast there, I don't know how she did that, but Alex Forest has disappeared, Lyra being the naive person she is. That's not it. It's more like we've been transported somewhere uh, else. And shoot, something is strange. I heard the radio mentioning the date from three years ago. Well, how were you listening to the radio? Maybe uh, I suppose through your poker, not poker, uh, poker gear. But why the heck would you turn your poker gear on in like this time? Just like, oh, I'm gonna listen to the radio. But whatever. Is that? Am I? Am I looking at Celebi? Well, Celebi was kind of there before. You blind not to notice it. That explains it. Selby must, Selby must cause this. My grandpa once told me that Selby can travel through time using its mi mis mystic power called time travel. Yes, that's very mystic. But uh, Selby must have taken us back in time. Literally. How can you take that not literally? I mean, what? And shoot, there's someone else bes here besides us. Let's go find out who. Because we are the nosy kind of people. <gasps> it's Matt. Uh, and who could that be? You told me. You told me you were the number one in the world. Are you gonna quit? Are you? What are you going to do now? My throat is killing me from doing that mad voice impression before. So it's kind of difficult for me to do that now. But lots of ellipsis. 
<coughs> Sorry, my voice is actually starting to die from trying to do map before. Because it wasn't pretty good anyway. Uh, one must acknowledge one's defeat before he can move on. I will go solo for now. So that one day I will form a stronger organization. What aspect of you was number one? Gathering so many, so many only to be defeated by a mere child, that child being red, in fact. Putting together the potential of many is how you produce a huge power. That's what an organization is. The strength of an organ, that's the strength of an organization. I failed to make the best use of my subordinate's potential. But you shall witness one day the revival of me and my Team Rocket. I don't understand you. You don't make any sense. One day you will understand. In fact, it's actually Giovanni. Giovanni walks off, and what this reveals is that, that Matt is Giovanni's son. It's like, what? What? What is this? It's, it's actually a pretty dark concept that your rival is actually the son of the evil gang leader, but whatever. I don't want to understand you. This is a typical teenage parent argument. I'll never become uh, someone like you. A coward when you're alone and acting like you're a tyrant when you're in front of other cowards. I will become strong. I will become stronger, a strong man by all by myself. All by myself. And Matt runs off really fast there. <coughs> My voice is just killing me now. What are you staring at? And he just like, he kind of pushes into us, not even past us, just runs into it. Who does he think it is? That was unnecessary. What they were talking about? The revival of Team Rocket? This Team Rocket was removed from the Kanto region by a child three years ago, the child being Red, who I actually played both Red and um, and my rival before, you know, just playing everyone who's in this episode. That was the, that was the other reason why I did it, because I knew I was going to be encountering ideas from Red and um, Matt, so I, I decided just to be them at the start. So this is, this, this really is three years ago. And uh, did it just change to night time there? I think it just did, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Changes to night time in the past. Oh no, it's happening again. Celebi's time travel. The Celebi, Celebi flies up in the air and just make the whole world go freaking crazy and spin around. And where are we going to end up now? Back in the Alex Forest, could it be? No, we actually end up in the Toho Falls, I believe, uh, in between Kanto and Johto. Ellipsis. I don't know why I've come here. Anyway. I have to warn you that this is not a place for kids like you. If you remember this place, it was kind of under the waterfall. And so Hall Falls. It was empty. It was looked the same. It had the little radio in it, but it didn't have Giovanni in it. Uh, huh? This That's the guy we just saw arguing with that boy. You have a certain look. It reminds me of a kid who stood in front of me three years ago. So this is more in present times. I think it's a little bit in the past from where we are, because Giovanni actually isn't in here in our present time, so it's a little bit in the past. But, uh, he's talking about red again. You have the same eyes. I'm on my way to Golden Horn City to answer the call and join my team. Are you going to get in my way? So what, this was actually when we were battling, uh, Team Rocket in the radio tower. But we ended up defeating them and Giovanni just ended up getting screwed over. But three years ago, Golden Horn City. Could this be the one that the radio was trying to reach? Giovanni, their boss. Did, do you hear it, Enchu? The radio is saying something strange. Team Rocket had occupied the radio tower at Golden Rod City. It can't be. Enchu, you solved that case already. This is the radio tower. This is the radio tower. Are you pleased to declare that Team Rocket's revival? Giovanni, can you hear us? We finally made it. My old associates need me. We will not repeat the failure from three years ago. Team Rocket will be born again, and I will rule the world. So at this point, I'm destroying Team Rocket. Two times over, I'm destroying Team Rocket in the, the, the radio tower, and I'm also destroying Team Rocket, well, Team Rocket's boss, Giovanni. Oh yeah, so I'm so awesome. And, uh, yeah, oops. I left Celebi out front, so Celebi isn't going to be too useful against Giovanni. Giovanni's not that strong, actually, because he is part of the event, and you, you do, so... Um, you need to uh, activate the event after a certain point, I believe. Um, I don't know how far in the game, but you don't. It's not required that you have to access, um, start the event at the end of the game, and therefore the Pokemon Giovanni's Pokemon can't be two level high Pokemon because you can't be forced into doing something 
when you're not a high enough level. If you get what I'm trying to say there. But hopefully I can just sweep his whole team with Naka here. And yeah, it's a pretty cool thing. Uh, oh gosh, no, don't. I'm gonna get so many levels. <laughs> so annoying, I hate this when you have like a low level Pokemon and you just level up so many levels. Uh, yeah, it is good a good thing when you're trying to train a Pokemon, but um, not the most useful thing ever. Uh, Hunch Crow is actually a dark flying type, so I'm gonna go with Monsoon, because Monsoon can have the electric moves. And uh, I did actually have to take some ball captures off my Pokemon, because uh, my Pokemon, I had to switch them out and put them in com my computer to get out Celebi and Pichu and Arceus, so uh, that was pretty annoying. But I will put, I'll put po ball capsules on my Pokemon ne for next episode, and I'll have all my team out. I won't be using the uh, the hacked Pokemon, of course, because um, you're hacked, and that's not fair. I'm just going to stay in for Nidoqueen. Queen. So it's actually feeling a lot like Christmas uh, this week. I mean, I suppose today most of all, because up to today it's not really felt like Christmas. It's just been like sort of sm like really cold and stuff. But this morning it was really weird. Everything was icy and white and it was just frosty. I don't know. It felt nice, and then it was all like Christmas stuff and lights up today. We already, I know, it's really weird um, that people decide to put up Christmas decorations on the 29th of November. What? Why couldn't you like wait two days till the 1st of December? I don't even know, but people are putting up Christmas things today. Uh, which is weird, but it's pretty cool. It's making me feel like Christmassy, but... Still another month to go, and uh, yeah, I've actually got to do a lot of work before then, but I'm not going to think about that. So yeah, I'm also doing my um, one year on YouTube. Um, I saw videos this weekend. If you want to get involved in the Pokemon tournament on Pokemon Showdown, I have a comment down below. Just ask me to join. It's sort of a uh, theme thing. And uh, also, I'm going to be doing question and answer. So ask me questions down below if you haven't seen my previous video. Uh, and even if you have seen my previous video, uh, go do it anyway. So how is this possible? The past three years have been a waste. How can a kid like you manage to destroy my team once again? The precious dream of Team Rocket has become a little more than an illusion. So he kind of walks off and just screws over his plans of Team Rocket's being revived. Hey, where's Giovanni gone? I wonder if he's listening to the, our broadcast. They keep calling for the boss. I feel sorry if they don't know he's not coming. After this and shoot, you will defeat them. Wait a second. And sure, you're still here then. Who will defeat Team Rocket? Well, I, I, was, I was kind of simultaneously doing that while defeating Giovanni because I'm so awesome. Not again, I've had enough. Please let me go back to my own time. Celebi just warps everything and makes everything go crazy. And I believe we're back in the Lex Forest now. Uh, yeah, we are. Back in the normal time. Except the freaking tree has re grown, it's just uncut itself, how I don't even know. But traveling through time it sure doesn't feel good. Well I can't quite imagine it feeling too good, but uh hey my Marrow Oh yes yeah, you left Marrow behind. <laughs> oh I miss you so much. Wait a sec, so we must be back in our time. Well done, well done. It was bizarre but now that we are safely back to our time Team Rocket's terrible design fell through we can say all, all well that ends well, right? And sure, you'll never cease to inspire great adventures. It was sure an exhausting day, though. I better get going. See you. <laughs> she left Meryl. I, I completely forgot she did. Meryl's just such a dopey Pokemon. Why, why is it not fo following Lyra? And her mother's calling us, but I, I don't even want to acknowledge her because she's just an annoying person. So I've got one more event to do. And that is the Arceus event, uh, you may be looking forward to this because this is a pretty awesome event. I'm not actually too sure how it works, I've never seen it before. So this is going to be a first for me and a first for you because I've actually seen, um, well maybe you guys have seen it but it's going to be, I'm going to be doing this as a first with you guys is what I'm trying to say. I've actually seen the um, the Selby event and the Pichu event before so I knew what they knew what was coming with them but uh, this also could mean I couldn't completely screw up this event and how to start it so. Uh, I am going to do my best to try and get it, so I'll put Celebi back in the computer. I'll put it in Box 2 because Box 2 is sort of my um, cheating Pokemon. I've got my Shining Rapidash. Uh, it's not, well, it's sort of cheating because I caught the Rapidash uh, on the on a route where I don't have caught a Pokemon, but I am going to eventually trade that onto my actual game when I get an R4 card and put it in there Pichu, Pichu, and Celebi. 
So I'm actually gonna go ahead and fly to the um, the thing in Magic Ruins. I completely forgot what they're called. And repel wears off. Wow, that was that was decently timed. But um, let's head to the uh, thing. What are they, what are they called? Uh, Azelf Ruins. Yeah. No, Azelf is a Pokemon. What what am I on about? The Ruins of Alf. There we go. Realize the name. So we gotta to fly to Violet City first, just because. Um, well, we can't fly directly to the ruins of Alf, so um, um, so this is the closest place, is what I'm trying to say. And uh, should I go down, or I'll go down and across. I was thinking whether I should go down and across, or just across and down, like because there's two different directions you can go. But whatever. I think I've already, yeah, I've already caught a Pokemon in the ruins of Alf, but uh, but you can do the Arceus event which actually takes you to another area so I could actually catch a Pokemon there but since it's hacked since it's hacked I don't want to cheat and wow look at the amazing Arceus there it's following me because I'm like the god of the god I'm the master of the god oh that, that's just amazing so I'm not even too sure where I've got to go I might just pause the recording here so I can actually work out where I'm supposed to go for this apparently I went the wrong way and I forgot to unpause my emulator there sorry if you uh saw that. But yeah, I went the uh, wrong way. It's actually, you have to go into this house here. And someone run out into us. This bold guy that kind of fly makes us fly across the screen, you know, but ouch! Arceus is coming back up to us. Are you okay? I was in hurry and sorry, did I hurt you? No, no way. Could this Pokemon is it, could it be the Pokemon from Sinnoh? One, the one they call Arceus? <laughs> <laughs> Runs around in excitement. <laughs> oh, could it be Arceus causing all this? I cannot explain it any other way. Uh, Arceus made the key to solving the mystery of the unknown and the ruins of Alf. Can you come to the ruins of Alf with me? Please, you must. I'm trembling with excitement. I think something is about to happen. Ah, uh, yes, this is so awesome. Hmm. I've studied the ruins for many years, but it feels something feels different. <laughs> Why is everyone running so fast in this episode? I don't I don't even know, but wow. The unknown pictures on the wall feels like they're, they're staring at me. And the screen goes black and fades out. This is kind of a contrast to the uh, Celebi event where the screen was going white. What is this? There's something eerie that is making my legs shiver. I can't, I can't stop them. So I'm actually doing all three events, even though I know I'm not going over time, but I wanted to get all the events done in one episode, because uh, it is my year anniversary of this Let's Play tomorrow, which does really suck, because I wanted to get it done before the year. But, you know, this Let's Play is going to last longer than a year, which is kind of bad. But where we are now is in the Sin Joe Ruins. It's uh, kind of a mix between Sino and Johto, where you can choose... Uh, between Dialga, Palkia, and Zagiratina, which you, you can choose between which one you want to get. So we walk outside and some um, hacker guy talks to us. I, I honestly don't know what's going to go on here, but... Well, hello. It seems it's so freezing, isn't it? For a youngster like you, it must be interesting in the Sinjo Ruins. It's not something we see every day. Take a look at them. From the design of these pillars at, at the Sinjo Ruins, you can see that the cultures of Sinnoh and Johto have blended. I don't know how you can see it from the pillars, but whatever. What was I thinking? Why we don't need to be standing here? Why don't you come back into the cabin around the corner for more discussion? Let's go discuss with the old hiker guy. I don't know how long this is going to take. Sounds like it's going to take a while. By the way, we have we happen to have a person at the cabin. Any trainer should know who she is. She's a famous trainer from Seno. Up under who it could be. She's traveling around to study myths and ancient ruins. Isn't that something? I'm going to just give it away at Cynthia, who's in the room, who's in the cabin. So I don't, I have no idea how long this is going to take, because we're like 24 minutes, and I'd like this not to go half an hour. But there she is, Cynthia! Yay! And uh, wow, you've got like a cool little abra. Abra. What do you say? Um, you seem so out of place, not even knowing why you, you are here. Do you want my abra's sake? To use a special power to take you. No, I, I want to stay here. I want to stay here. Okay, best of luck to you. And can we put? Yeah, we can put Pokemon in the computer and take them out here. Uh, but I'm not gonna do that. What do you have to say before I talk to Cynthia? A long time ago, the people used to draw that li um, draw life po from Pokemon and also give their lives to those Pokemon. That shows people and Pokemon used to live more closely bonded with each other. 
I, I just lost the complete voice acting for this guy, but whatever. When people move from place to place, the Mist and Legends and Pokemon, the power would also be carried with those people. That's how the Mist and Legends from each of the regions blend together with each of the ancient ruins. I don't even want to know. Uh, so it's apparently the the ruins of Alph and the Spear Pillar are merged together. That is a proof that people from Johto and Sinnoh blended together as a group. Okay, yeah, it was kind of pointless, but whatever. Let's talk to Cynthia! Yay, the champion of Sinnoh. My name is Cynthia, I'm a Pokemon trainer. Uh, not just any Pokemon trainer, you are the uh, Pokemon Master Trainer. Uh, the Central Ruins reminds me of Sinnoh, where I come from. Initially, I thought it was because the, it snows here as well. It snows a lot here as well. Well, to be quite honest, it is the Sinjo Ruins that is based off Sinnoh and Johto, but whatever. But that was not it. A long time ago, people came from Sinnoh to live here. T to live here? What? In like freezing cold? I, I don't know. It doesn't even seem like there's any houses or any space to build houses, but whatever. They have built a temple here while longing for a home. That's why we call these the Sinjo Ruins. And you are a, p a Pokemon trainer? I can sense a strong power coming from your Pokeball. And she walks up to the kitchen sink. <laughs> no idea why. I feel a similar presence, the power of Dialga, Palkia. Or could it be Giratina? It's similar, but they're not quite the same. So she's just like, checking us out now. <laughs> have you got the time? Or have, have you got time? Have you got the time? <laughs> yes, uh, Cynthia, it's quarter past eight in, in GMT. Uh, can you come to the Sinjo Ruins with me? Uh, call it train a trainer's intuition. When you and your Pokemon step onto the stage, something will happen. Uh, I don't know how she would know that, but whatever. <laughs> I can't believe that thought she said, have you got the time? Have you got time is what I completely meant to say. But anyway, apparently there's something going to happen once we walk up onto there. Uh, this is called... Oh, so this is the mystery spelt wrong stage and the mythical stage built to show respect to for Arceus. It is said, well Arceus is like right behind me, you can't even see me, Arceus is covering me up. It's said that the... it looks like he's just talking to Arceus. Uh, it's said that people use to celebrate man, with ma, celebrate its magnificent, man, yeah, magnificent might with music and dance. Some people in Johto still pass down this tradition. Uh, the mystery stage allows a single Arceus and nothing else to get on the stage. If you wish to go up there, you have to deposit your other Pokemon in the PC box in the car. Oh, screw you, Cynthia. Make it be put by Knacker and I'll team in my computer. Oh, you know what? I'm going to have to remove all the ball capsules as well. That's really annoying. Thanks a lot for that, Cynthia. I'm going to be right back because taking the ball capsules of each Pokemon is going to be a little bit of an annoying uh, thing to do. And now I only have Arceus with me, so now is the time to battle either Giratina uh, or or Palkia or Dialga. I think you can choose which one you want. Um, so she's saying what she said before. According to a according to an ancient document, time, space, and antimatter, or what combined combined we call the world, shall be born when Arceus stands on the mystery stage. This is where one might say. The lead enters the mystery stage at last. All of my study of ruins, so all of my studies of ruins and Pokemon mythology and Sinnoh may have been to bring you up on this stage here today. So, like your whole life of being the champion, and everything is about me. I'm, I'm quite flattered, to be honest. Uh, we can walk up onto the stage. Oh, there are me. Oh, there I am again. Uh, you saw my face about just before Arceus covered me up again. Depicted on the mystery stage are the Pokemon. Shaped the, uh, the Pokemon that shaped this world. The circle in the middle is Arceus, the origin of it all, the god of all Pokemon, of course. Uh, this pattern represents Palkia, the master of space and dimensions. And this pattern it represents Dialga, the guardian of time. And the final one up there is Giratina, antimatter apparently. This is the pattern that represents Giratina, the rule of the world uh, on on the opposite side of ours, uh, the world of antimatter. Which doesn't quite make sense, to be honest, in phys real life physics terms, but it's not real life physics, it's Pokemon, so let's just kind of accept it. Arceus has accepted you as a trainer. Arceus, uh, well, we kind of just foisted it upon us with the cheat code, but whatever. Having shaped the world, it is said to show a glimpse, show you a glimpse of its true power. The power of possibly making life appear out of nothing. That's not possible. 
I, that's absurd. How could you say that? It seems that something will happen when you choose one of the circles. You want to be well prepared. Well, we can't really prepare because you force me to put all my Pokemon into the computer, you stupid woman. So we get to choose one of the, um, one of the, um, the, the circles, which you, one of the legendaries. I don't know which ones to choose. I would, I would ask people on Twitter, but I don't think people would really answer me because no one, no one's followed me on Twitter. Go follow me on Twitter because uh, I might ask things in future and you could reply to them. Uh, which one do you want to go on? Which one? Up, down, up, 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 left or right? Which one? I, I don't know. Um, I re I, I don't know. Uh, Giratina is pretty cool. I'm gonna go for Dialga. Yeah, it's kind of weird that we only get to choose one, but uh, yeah, Dialga is gonna appear out of nowhere. And I don't know why all three don't appear. It will make sense for all three to appear. And all these cool, <laughs> wow, that's so cool. All these little um. Unknown, despite them being 2D rather than 3D, they will just really cool. And the screen has just gone black. I, I hope this is supposed to happen. Oh, what? This is kind of freaking me out. Um, this music is kind of scary. <laughs> oh, here we go. Arceus is like epic face in his eye. And <laughs> what? <laughs> that whole picture is like space. This is weird. What's going on? This is creepy. Arceus there with the strange... This pictures of real life. What is going on? This is really weird. Why the... Why on earth would they show like pictures of real life in a Pokemon game? This is so... Freaking weird. What? It's like a depiction of the real life world. And creepy epic music. Uh, <laughs> is that the so? Oh my gosh, this is so weird. And that's the, the galaxy, and I don't know what that is, and this earth, and then. What's this weird symbol that keeps appearing? Is that an egg? So it's like the, 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 the question which came the first, the egg or the, the chicken. And the screen's black again. Do I get to battle Dialga at some point soon? Or do I just get given it, maybe? And the screen slowly brightens up. Um, oh! Do we open like a portal through time, uh, through space even, because it's Dialga, not Palkia? Whoa! The thing just went inside of me. This mysterious object took the shape of a Pokemon. Oh, I obtained Dialga <laughs> one. <laughs> that was weird. That was really creepy. I, no, I don't want to give a nickname to Dialga because I'm going to get rid of it at some point soon. Uh, that that shining sphere, could it be an egg? Did we just witness the very moment an egg was brought into this world? So that's how Pokemon made eggs. He freaking called upon Arceus and do some crazy weird Inception real life weird stuff. And No, of course they don't make babies. They just do that. It's that, not like that's more disturb, less disturbing to children than making babies, but anyway. Uh, a moment no one has ever seen. An egg is the cradle of every being. The, this planet itself is an egg, in a sense. That life comes from that egg will come to an end due, in due course and begin a name. What? That's just so depressing. You were born to die. Quote from Cynthia Weller. It's, a, um, it's an interpreted quote. Uh, that may be what Arceus wanted to show us. Well, I think Arceus just wants to just freak us out with some creepy music and... and, like, some weird real-life pictures in the Pokemon game. That was... We seem to be surrounded by a strong power, that strong power again. And, uh, it's making our screen go black. There's a lot of making my screen go black, and uh, apparently I just disappear out of nowhere. Oh, are you alright? You disappeared right in front of me. Uh, I was so surprised. Well, everyone's running so fast. I don't understand. I see. The power of Arceus and Unknown affected each other to create a huge energy. We sent to you to the Cinder Ruins. Unknown, the ruins of Alpha and Arceus. The mystery deepens. It has made me more inquisitive. One day I'll solve all mysteries. Well, I just did on my own. For the win. Cynthia was just annoying me. Well, Mum's calling me again. Don't you realize, Mum, I have a life and I have... OP. 
I've, I don't think I've seen a P unknown in here before. I don't know, it's pretty cool, but you get to see the, from the epic arc here. It's gonna put this big thing from his head. I don't even know what to say about it. It's just huge. It, that, that's all I can really say. It's, it's too big, it will not even fit in this room. So that's it for the um, the events. So I hope you enjoyed the events. It was requested that we'd do the events. I wasn't going to do them in the first place because um, because of the fact it's just going to take it took it took a while, of course, as you could tell. And I didn't want to do them in separate episodes because it's going to take too. It would have taken too long to do, and um, like too many episodes. And then I would have gone way over a year of these episodes. I want to get this finished as quick as possible. So I've only got a few more episodes to do. Uh, I have only got the um, the gym related rematches, the Elite Four rematches, the Red rematch, and also I need to do the Battle Frontier. I was thinking I probably could do the gym leader rematches and the Elite Four rematches, and maybe the Red rematch in one long episode if you want me to do that, because um, I really think that I need to get this done as quick as possible. Or I could just do them in three separate episodes, it doesn't really matter. So comment about that if you've actually watched these episodes this long, because 36 minutes, this is crazy. But anyway, I want to say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed these, uh, the weird event with Arceus. But um, yeah, I'll see you next time when I will be either doing the Battle Frontier or the Gym Leader rematches.